Bola Tinumbu's former deputy when he was the governor of Lagos State slams APC and calls Bola Metinumbu a mafia as she reveals some details. Hello everyone, you're welcome to the news. Mrs. Kufurola Bokno Akerele, a former deputy governor of Lagos State in an interview with channels, said some pretty bad things about the All Progressive Congress APC's presidential candidate, Bola Ashwa Jutinumbu. Mrs. Bokno, who was the deputy governor from 1999 to 2003, called Tinumbu a mafia. She went further to reveal that Tinumbu did not treat her right during their tenure in office. As you may recall, Koforola Bokno was the deputy of Ashwa Jibola from 1999 when, you know, we got back to civilian um, administration and democracy. And at that time, it was really, really a turbulent time as, you know, they never really blended together, working well together. It was always from one issue to the other. You know, Bola, I mean, Koforola Bokno too is a very cerebral woman who is a, I think she's a lawyer, and who has always, you know, sp spoken out about any issues she wasn't comfortable with. She's always been saying that, you know, being in the position of leadership is about service, and it's not about worshipping um, the particular leader. And years down the line, she's still repeating the same lines that, you know, he treated her shabbily, he did, never respected her, she was never meant to have a voice, you know, uh, um, allocations were not given to her well, that it was just running a one-man show, that every other thing about the state and the politicking of APC was always, not APC at that time, was Action Congress. At that time, always stopped at the table of Bola Tenumbu because it was the one that would choose whoever he so deemed fit to occupy any position, um, be it from any local government, uh, as local government chairmanship position, to other positions in the states, like the, you know, the government agencies, the giving out of contracts and everything. It was really, really turbulent that at that time. A lot of the political parties stalwarts when we had the Babas of Afeni Ferry at that time, but could not, you know, rescue Pufurola Bokno, allegedly, from the allegations of what she said Bola Metinumbu did to her. And so definitely when he was going for his second term, he was she was not the choice at all she was dropped and um since then she's been very quiet um with things and everything then she decamped to pdp much later on though more have not been heard from her she's meant she said to always work in the background but pdp has constantly um not succeeded in winning the polls in lagos state where a lot of people will say bola metinombo has his feet right on the ground in all areas in Lagos State and is not ready to let it go. So since then that Bala Metinumbu left, a lot of people like this who he started with do not seem to be in agreement with a lot of his policies and all of that. And for Kufurala Bokno to come out, she doesn't come out often to do this, for her to come out now to say that she's she's that um APC has done nothing, you know, for people that people can barely afford to even feed on one square meal a day and the economy is at its worst and everything is not just working which is rightly so you know this is not politics taking place this is reality things are not working and even pdp people don't want to hear about pdp on the streets and that's why the force of peter ob has been really really loud because people are just tired of the same old same again with empty promises and with our leaders dropping the real governance and running after politics and as you heard also the president has said yesterday that he's eager to go because nigeria is tough and he's been having it tough since he became the president which has still brought a lot of reactions online with people telling him to step aside if he's tired of the situation so this is where we found ourselves in 2022 and we just hope things will get better and nigerians will make the best choice in 2023 thank you so much for watching please drop your comments in the comment section below also remember to like share and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next news god bless nigeria bye for now